Yes, 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 Google. I'm going to start charging you for Google Photos. Can you believe that? Well, I've got a solution for you where you can get rid of Google forever. I'm going to show you how you can back everything up easily, just like you did before. You take your photos on your phone and they go straight to, well, your Synology NAS in this case. And I'm going to show you the app that actually will be replacing here, Google Photos. And yes, this is Google Photos. We have an app in our Synology NAS. It's just like sort of like Google Photos. You can arrange things from albums and um, even moments. You can actually do face recognition and stuff like that. I'm going to get into that in a sec. So if you don't want to be paying Google once your you know, storage runs out for Google Photos to back up your photos anymore, this is the video for you. And I'll show you how to back up from your phone and back up from your computer. So... What is a NAS? A NAS is a backup solution or storage solution. As you can see here, you can use it for file server and synchronization, data backup, multimedia hub. Yes, you can use this as your sort of Plex or multimedia hub. I've done videos on this already. Productivity, virtual machines. There's so much you can do with a NAS and you buy a NAS, you connect it to your network and all your devices can connect to it. And you can even access these things remotely, okay? So these things are so awesome. And Synology, if you're going to talk about Synology, I think they make some of the best NAS you're going to get and easy to use. I actually got sent out the DS920 Plus. There are so many NAS. they got lots of NASs. There will be one right for you. And if I was going to talk about Synology in particular when it comes to NASs, I think they're the Apple of NAS, okay? So they're polished, their interface is like Apple-like, they're very easy to use. Very powerful, very functional. So I think Synology are the apple of NAS. But anyway, let's get into backing up these Google Photos. So first of all, you can actually go into Google Photos and use Google Takedown to actually download all your folders, actually everything from Google if you want. That's another video, I'll show you how to do that. And actually, if I have a look here in my downloads folder, that is every single Google photo I have. There you go. All five folders there, I downloaded 128 gigs. And this is why <laughs> they're not um, letting you have storage for free anymore because I've got 128 gigs and that was all free. Now, the thing is you like Google Photos, right? So here is Google Photos. Well, Synology have something like that as well. Now, I'll be using Synology Photo, which is in DSM-7, which is the operating system for the NAS. That's the new version. Yours might be a little bit different because you might be on DSM-6, and you'll probably have Synology Moments. And as you can see here, you can group things by, you know, people. So it has an algorithm that can, you know, group similar faces, just like Google, you know, by subjects, places. And of course, you can make your own folders. I'll show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you have to do is set up your NAS and log into it. So for this, the easiest way is once you've set up your NAS, which is beyond the scope of this video, is to download the software for your product. Just say your product is whatever, and it'll come up with software for your system there. So you just go there, DSM-6. That's probably what you're on. I'm using DSM-7. If I want to use a utility, desktop utilities, you get Synology Assistant, and that will show you where your NAS is. So you would download this, and you would install it, and that can help you find your NAS. So this is DSM-7. We want to use Synology Photos. And then you can see here, I've already got photos here. And if you want to know where those photos are, they are in Homes. This is the folder structure of my NAS, Admin, Photos, and then Photo Library, 210. You can see there, they're the photos that are in my NAS, okay? This is me looking at my NAS from my computer. This is me logged into the NAS directly. Now to upload photos to this, it's really simple. Press Upload, and let's upload those photos. So we'll go to the Desktop. Go there and we'll select all those photos there and we'll upload them and they'll upload to the NAS here from my desktop and we're doing this with the DSM-7 Synology Photos. So they'll update here. So here you have it. Yes, there you go. I've uploaded these wedding photos to Synology Photos and you can easily access these from Synology Photos. When you're logged into DSM-7 on your NAS, or you can actually access these from the file structure on your computer, of course. Again, if we go Homes, Photos, Photo Library, and we'll go 216. And there you can see there, Wolf. And it's done this automatically. It's made these folders automatically. It's done it by the date these photos were taken there. So you can see there, 210, 221. I didn't do this. Automatic. Now, it's good that it's grouped them by date, but I want to make my own albums. And what I'll do here is I would select Photos, and we'll just 
you know, select all these. Or we'll just select a few. And these items are selected. And you can see down here in the bottom right hand corner, I can add to an album. I can download them. I can share them. Or I could delete them. And more gives you edit tags, edit time and date, or move to, or copy to. So you can do all those things. Very powerful, right? So I want to add to an album. I don't want to use this album next top model, which I've already made. I want to make a new album, and I'll call this Wedding. So Wedding, boom, there you go. So if I go to albums, I have, look, places. This is geotag. This is if you turn the geotag on, it'll use the GPS data and it will know where the places are. I can do it by tag. So I've tagged these next top model. I haven't tagged these wedding ones yet. As you can see here, I've got two albums. I've got a wedding album, the one I just made. And then I have another album that I made not long ago. And there you can see there, next top model. So there's two albums there. And then you have a recently added and you can add videos here. So that's cool it arranges it by album but say i want to tag all these so i'll just select them all and i'll go here and i'll go to edit tags and then i'll just enter a bunch of tags we'll just do wedding so wedding create tag wedding okay and if i go back here and i want to find those photos all i do is type wedding there you go they all come up boom just like google photos and as I said, there's many things that can be arranged by. Arranged by album, state, geotag. So there you have it. It's super easy to, you know, back up your photos, download them, share them. And if I wanted to share some photos, I'll just go like that. Click on share. And you give someone a link. There you go. And you can require them to have a password or not, whatever. It's up to you. Now let's do the thing I think is the best thing about Synology Photos is backing up your photos from your phone when you take them automatically to your NAS. That is what we're going to do next. So how do we do it off our phone? iPhone, Android, doesn't matter. All we have to do is actually download an app from your app store, whether that's the Play Store or Apple's app store. And yes, every photo you take that goes into your photo album, we will be able to back that up automatically to your NAS, just the way Google Photos works. So that is amazing. Let's do it. So of course here I'm using the iPhone. So let's just jump into the App Store. And all you have to do here is just search for Synology and then Synology Photos will come up. That is the app we're going to use, Synology Photos. So here we have it, Synology Photos. Let's download and install that. Once it's installed, we want to open it up and woof, we're going to be asked for all these privileges on your phone, whether it's Android, you have to accept them all, of course. Now, once you're here, you're going to need your login details and you're going to need your Quick Connect ID or IP address. Now, the IP address you can easily get from your browser when you log into DSM. It's basically the same thing, basically the same IP as that. That's the IP of your NAS and you'll just copy that IP address. Just go up the top of the browser, get the numbers. And then, of course, you'll need your login credentials, which you've done when you set up your NAS. Now, for just for demonstration purposes, mine is on the default admin. But you would have whatever you put there. Or maybe you left it default admin. And password, you need HTTPS enabled. You might as well enable that. So just log in and let's go for it. Then once you log in, you'll have to agree to these terms. So here we go. This is the magic of Synology Photos and it's going to be just like Google Photos. Now I have selected backup new photos only. You can have it backup all photos, which will mean it will backup all the photos you already have. But for me, I'm just going to set it up to backup new photos only. And then at the bottom there, you can see the backup path. And that's basically where it goes on your NAS. Of course, you can access these photos from any device now through the NAS, through your browser on your computer, and of course on the Synology Photo app on your phone. So let's just check on Enable Photo Backup, and of course you'll have to accept all these things so it can access your photos. You can enable notifications if you want, it's up to you, and then woof, there we go. You see here, this is exactly the same folder as we had on Synology Photos in the DSM-7 on the NAS. And these folders are the same folders that I can access from my NAS as well. So this is exactly like Synology Photo on your NAS, but it's just the mobile version. So what we want to do here is now just take a photo and watch. It'll go straight to my NAS and yeah, I'll be able to access it anywhere, just like I was saying before. So let's take a photo. All right, so let's take that photo and let's have a look in the Synology Photo app on this phone. 
and you can see uploading and it's uploaded and wolf that's what we're talking about that simple it's exactly like google photos you take your photos on your phone they just back up automatically that's what you want i love synology photos get rid of google forever you don't have to pay those fees anymore and you have control on what you want to do where you want to share it everything is in your hands and it couldn't be any simpler than that taking a photo and just automatically backing up so i highly recommend this so catch you in the next one guys tally ho